you all know my name is Stephanie Lisa. I hope all of you had a great time. Because I know I did. Okay. Um, <laughs> never mind. So, I'm going to talk to you about our greatest poet, Julia Segundo. Oh my god, what is that again? She was a really great poet. She was also known as the great poet of Boston America. Now why am I talking in this British accent? I do not know. I don't know. I don't care. I'm so sure you don't either. So let's just keep with the um, end form slash podcast slash video slash um something slash I don't know yeah <laughs> so yeah um let's just hope you like my hey thank you Blake was born in Carolina, Puerto Rico on February 17, 1914. Julia de Burgos is considered by many as the greatest poet to have been born in Puerto Rico. And along with David Amistad is considered as one of the greatest poets of Latin America. She was very fortunate to be able to attend school since she came from a very large family of 13 children. Oh my god! Burgos graduated at the age of 19 from the University of Puerto Rico with a degree in teaching. She became a teacher, but her love for literature led her to write poetry. Among her early influences were Luis Llorens Torres, Clara Lair, Rafael Alberti, and Pablo Neruda. In 1943, she married Armando Marín, a musician from Vieques. In 1947, the marriage also ended in divorce, lapsing Burgos into further depression and alcoholism to elevate her sadness and loneliness. On June 28, 1953, she left the Brooklyn home of a relative she was reading with and disappeared without a clue of where she went. It was later discovered that on July 6, 1953, she collapsed on a sidewalk in the Spanish homeland section of Manhattan. That city you're seeing right there. Wow, that's big. And later died of pneumonia at a hospital in Harlem at the age of 39. Yeah, she died pretty young, fortunately. Since no one initially claimed her body, and the fact that she had no identification on her time of her death, the city gave her a pauper's burden on heart island. Thus, a committee was organized in Puerto Rico, presided by Dr. Margaret Ars de Vasquez, to have her remains transferred back to the island. Her remains arrived at in September 6, 1953, and funeral services for her were held at the Puerto Rican Athenian. I do think that for being applied to a land is by being not someone important, like who you gotta do it, you know, like she was a poet, or being an architect, or a painter or things like that. For so being you don't have to be something like that. For so being a part of your land. I believe that for being a part to our land is by being a great citizen. Help the others. Don't throw trash to our planet. Help people when I did that. Because you don't know when you're gonna need that help. Because then when you really, really need that help, where will you be? Because people won't help you because they know you are mean to them. You were like they were like, Oh I need help 
later. I'm not gonna help you right now. I need stuff to do. And you never help them. Don't be selfish. Don't. I do know people like that. Hey, can you help me? Um, do you need my cocaine thingy? Wait, let me finish mine. I'll help you right away. Hours later. I'm finishing. She never finished. Well, she does, but she never helps me. Yeah. Don't be selfish. That's not a good thing. I just think it's like that. So, um... That's my form. Oh, um... Right now, um... Stephanie... The girl who did it along with you guys over there... I think. Yeah, you, Missy. She'll be giving you a poem written by Julia de Burgos. So I'll be like... And that is my form. Thank you for listening. I love you all. Hope you like my form, teacher. Bye! Yay! Yay me! Okay, seriously. This is... This is horrible. Bye.